All right, guys, customer test video, Rocket Box HD 500 MOS. And I'm actually going to be driving it with a radio that I need to do a, a demo of here in a little bit. These new uh, Anytone Quad 5 ends, uh, basically like a 955 on the inside. We're going to test this thing on AM and sideband uh, with this Rocket Box 500. These have automatic sideband delay. They also have preamp, low, medium, and high. And I'm just going to show you guys the paper that actually comes with the rocket box. I'll let you guys read this. It says swing 45 to 80 watts. PEP is what it's referring to, max output. Uh, that's also going to require you to probably have a, a bird meter that reads PEP to make sure you're lining up with uh, the reference point. Make sure you check before you install, da 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 da, da. SWRs needs to be one to one, no more than one five. Basically all the same stuff you hear from other, you know, amp builders and stuff. Um, dead key, two to four watts max. Amp has a three year warranty on house switches, board, and not MOSFETs. So that is one key thing I want you guys to read. Just like any other amp builder out there, as I've told you guys in the past, I don't try to hide it. They do not warranty transistors, MOSFETs, finals, uh, anything of that nature. So be very, very careful when you're using these amps or anything else not to overdrive them because when they go pop, not even the manufacturer will warranty them. So like I said, I'm, I'm pretty upfront about that. People ask me if I warranty stuff. And I'll just tell you guys up front, no, I don't warrant them because not even the manufacturer warranties them. So it wouldn't make sense for me to warranty something that the manufacturer does not even warranty. Um, but we're going we're gonna to be a little careful. We're going to swing probably a little bit less than this thing um, calls for. Probably closer to 75 watts PEP going into it. And then, like I said, we'll test it on sideband, see how it does. So we may be underdriving it a little bit. But again, just be cautious. Don't overdrive them. Um, preamp on this switch here. I'll just do a little receive test, show you guys the preamp works. This one's actually sold. I'm gonna key up with the preamp on. And then turn it off. Turn it back on again. So it looks like maybe an S unit to an S unit and a half difference there. I think it was going from just below seven to uh, just above seven. So that's the preamp. Um, these radios, again, just like a new 955. I mean, they've actually got the exact same cover that goes on a version two 955. I'll cover these in a separate video. But again, not big average power swingers. So don't expect to see this thing do like a big pile of average power. Uh, but we should see some decent PEP out of it. And again, this uh, rocket box is already sold. Uh, I will get these radios listed today or tomorrow. Okay, so average power. We're going to test it on AM first, just for kicks here. Uh, we are on the, what have we got in here? Is that a 1,000 watt slug, so bottom scale? Hello, check, check, audio. Check audio. So, just sub 100 watts average. If we turn the RF power on up, the average power would come up, but like I said, we've got it back down a little bit. Probably swinging 75 watts PEP. Check, check, audio, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, check, check, audio. Just less than 400 watts PEP. And now we're gonna turn it to sideband. And I previously tested, so I have a ballpark idea where to set it on sideband. I'm gonna turn the RF power to three o'clock. And then go to sideband mode here. And we should be good to go test it on sideband. Turn our meter back to PEP. Check, check, audio, check, check. One, two, one, two, audio. Check, 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 check. About 380. Uh, but again, if we bumped it on up a little bit, probably come on up. We can just turn it up just a shade, see if it makes a difference. Check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. So a little bit less than 400 watts PEP. Now that is testing it at 14.7. Uh, current draw that we've got going on here. Show you guys. 
check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. So bounced up to around 36 amps there at one time. So it looks like a combination like this, you could run on a uh, 50 amp uh, power supply. Now I will say I tested this amp earlier with my Connex doing 50 watts and it showed about 300 with a 50 watt radio going into it. So uh, they are a little drive specific. Um, you have to kind of put what they call for to get some good power out of them. They call it a HD 500. You know, whether it do 500 watts or not, I don't really know. I feel like 400 watts PEP is kind of the comfort zone for it, but you may find it, you know, find that it does 500 watts. Um, but it comes with the paperwork that I uh, that I included there and uh, tells you, you know, the basics of it and everything else. But that's it, guys. Rocket Box HD 500 MOS. I've got a couple of 250s in. Um, I don't have another 500 right now, so... Just want to do a, a customer test video on this one before it left. Uh, that way they could have something to refer back to. And again, I will get around to doing a video with this guy uh, here in a little bit. And we can uh, see all the features and stuff of it. Try to go into the performance and uh, some of the features that this has. Pretty cool little radio. Alright guys, that's it. Rooster in Tennessee. Questions, comments, shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Catch you guys out there. Brewster in Tennessee. See you, bye.